Hello and welcome to Infinity. Every now and again I kind of have a go at doing a cartooning effect and I've tried various tweaks and anyway this is the latest evolution of this. So first of all we want to reduce the number of colours. Cartoons have just flat areas of colour. So we're just going to go to adjustments and posterize. That just reduces the number of colours here. And here, particularly with faces and things, you need to look in here and see what the number of lines in. So and it's literally a very low number you can have. You look for the detail you're getting and they just basically the number of where all the edges are. And I think actually four works quite well there. But as you see here, of course, it's, it's changed the colours. It's decided what colours to use. So what you do is you change the blend mode to luminosity and there you go it actually does a fairly good job of that so now this whole thing is looking pretty good however this face here the eyes have gone a bit dark and the overall face here as well and it's because it's sh shaded with a hat which is a constant problem in photography people wear hats the face goes dark so we want to bring this out a bit. So before we get to this, I want a bit more light on this. So I'm going to go down to here and put in a curves. And I'm going to bring this up just looking at the face. So let's say you know, it looks about OK. And I'm going to invert it, Control I. And then with a paintbrush, Painting white, I'm going to paint back that face there. What have I got there? 40% opacity. That's okay, so it lets me paint in a bit. And that brings a bit more light onto the face. So, <clears throat> if I put on the posterize again, the eyes are still a bit dark. I said the rest of it's okay. It's the eyes I need to bring out as well. So I want another curves. So I'm going to go to curves here. And just looking at the eyes, go to something where I got enough of the eyes coming back. There you go, I got the eyes there, that's right. So control I again to invert that. And then with the white paintbrush, paint back here. You need to be careful actually keep it within the the frame there. So we get the eyes back. There we go. Right, now then we've fixed that one and we may want to rethink a bit of this because not much here. What do I bring this back down again? Yeah, so getting a bit more texture into that face. Yeah, there we go. But it's shaped to it, although it looks rather flat. Now then, what I've got here, the lines here are nice and sort of separated out, but they're a bit, you know, a bit noisy around the edges. So I want to turn those into nice smooth lines. And the trick here is to go to medium blur. And then if I bring the radius up here, you can see those lines, see around here, there's before and after, just smooth those lines off. So everything's gone there. And again, because it's, it is a non-destructive, we can always go back later and have another tweak at it. So that's the basic thing we can do. What we can do as well also is put in lines, you get dark lines around the outside of the, of the things. We're going to do a merge visible, so we've got a picture of this. So I'm just going to go to right click here and merge visible. Same as doing it via layer. And this gives me a pixel layer. So that's all I've got here. It's now on top of here, obliterating all this. Then I want to get some lines on that. So filters, detect, detect edges. And 
Then I want to make that black and white. So I'm going to go to adjustments and black and white. And with this, I can also play with these and adjust those as well. So that's something else I can do later on, but we'll keep that for now. I want to invert it as well. So adjustments and an invert. And I want to drop this on top now. So I select shift click down to that pixel layer there. Control G to group it. So now I've got a group with that, that outlines. So let's call that outlines. And then I can go down to say darker. You can do median as well. I can even go down to overlay. Um, but the the darkens right and maybe maybe multiply. And if you want to vary this, we can then go to the blend ranges here. And if I bring down the right hand node there and the left hand graph and pull this across, and it will gradually reduce what's visible on that if you want to do that. But anyway, there we go. Control zero to go out again. Or often better to do this on a closer crop. And you can see the effect there. That's pretty cartooned. Anyway, that's it. And thank you very much for watching.